Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back my dear friends, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you wherever you are. And this is the DADM 2 course which is data analysis and decision making 2 under the NPTEL MOOC series and as you know this course is for 12 weeks, spread over 12 weeks. Each week we have 5 lectures each being for half an hour and the total duration for the course is uh, in hours it will be 30 and in number of lectures it will be 60 and after each week you have assignments. So, you have already come completed the 7 assignments after 7 weeks and today is the last class for the 8th week. Hopefully, we will wrap up uh, the Vicor method with the example which you are discussing and you will be able to solve problems in the Vicor area. Now, um, in the last class which is the uh, 30 uh, last class which is the one bus one left before that when once we were uh, when you are in the process of wrapping up the 8th week which is the 39th class. If you remember we have discussing about the maximum and the minima and based on the maximum and minima we had these values. So, the maxima was there for each criteria to so, the max so, let me make a simple color. So, a light blue something sort of and similarly it will be something sort of light pink, a very light one. So, these are positive and negative in a simple sense. Let me make it green. So, it will give the concept of positive value a very light green. So, these are the maximum minima and I have basically drawn them in the, in the chart where for each criteria if I go along this vertical this means the overall scaling based on which I will try to compare. Now, it also means that if I consider C 1 only the criteria that means the maximum liking or the disliking I may get uh, I would not use the word disliking liking in the positive sense, liking in the less positive sense is given by this length similarly for C 2. But if you see for C 3 that means in C 3 level we are undecided try, trying to basically fathom the liking and not that liking one for C 3 based on the fact that we are taking any two alternatives at a time. While for C 4 the uh, liking disliking distance is less. So, this is the scaled max minus min levels and we will use that in the denominator for, for trying to find out for each and every C 1, C 2, C 3, C 4. So, we have already have these values. Now, we will do the further calculation. Now, we will find out the norms based on L 1 norm and the L infinity norm. These are the, the two ends of the norms of the distance measure. If you remember, I have been mentioning the distance measure time and again. And this I will find out based on the fact that I am going to find it for each and every um, alternative combining the criteria. So, let me come to the fact that I will take the alternatives that means. So, it will be the weights, weights are basically the, the weights which I have w 1 to w n. So, they were w 1, w 2, w 3, w 4. So, I will find out the weights in such a way. So, I will divide by the max and the min which is there in the uh, list highlight this fact. Max min for the first, similarly max min for the first, max min for the first, max min for the first. So, then I will try to find utilize the ratio of the maximum to second, 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 second. Similarly, I have a third, 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 third depending on the numbers. So, I will just 
mark the last but one n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 1, when in this case is 3. And finally, I do for n which is the fourth, fourth means j is equal to 4, fourth, fourth, fourth. So, the ratios always are the same which are what I have already found out the difference here. So, let me write down the difference. So, these are the difference which I have and this 0 0.6827 is the distance which I have along the C in the vertical axis in the graph, C 2 is 0 0.068. So, 0 0.06827 for the first one and 0 0.06882 for the second one are almost the same and the second third one is double 0 0.0116 which is almost 0. So, if you see the graph, it will become more more uh, readable that the distance between the max and the mean for the third cri um, uh, criteria is almost 0. Now, we go to the normalization one. So, what is the normalization one? So, the max minus the corresponding value that means, we go f 1 1 f 1 2 that means, I am following the uh, row wise difference. So, it will be the I will write down, I will write down the values and calculate it. So, multiply it by max minus this divided by, I will use the max minus this, so it will be easier, max minus the mean. So, here what values become fixed? This. Uh, these values are for the corresponding cells are fixed. So, I will basically find out then I do go to the second value which is this multiplied by max uh, max minus f 1 2 divided by max, max I am taking for now for the second j, j is equal to 2 minus min of j 2 plus 0 0.25 into maximum for the c 3 1 minus f 1 3 divided by maximum for third, third means third um, criteria minus the minimum of third criteria. Finally, uh, okay, this should be uh, this m uh, 32. So, let I have to put it m 32 or else I will not be doing justice. m 32, the last value is n 33 multiplied by fourth criteria maximum value minus f 1 3 the whole thing divided by maximum for fourth criteria minus the minimum one. So, this is done. Okay. So, I should be, so this is done. So, I have for the first one. So, now if I want to do it for the second one for the L 1 norm. So, let me write it L 1. So, it would be comma L 1 norm and B basically be the ith 1 for the ith alternative and we will find out similarly n infinity comma ith norm. So, we will find it out. So, now what do we need to fix here? So, here this will be fixed, fixed. So, first let us fix the values of the weights. So, it will be easier for us to calculate. So, weights are fixed. Now, we also need to finalize and fix the maximum value. I am only fixing the maximum value for the time being.
So, this I have missed. So, this maximum value also I fixed, the maximum value also fixed, so maximum values are fixed. Then now I need to fix the minimum values also. So, minimum values are in the denominator. We will copy it and double check. So, we need to minimize the now this will not be there. And the last is and so this is done. So, I need to copy. So, let me copy it. So, let us check by the cells whether they are right. It is right, this is right, this is right, this is right. So, let us check the values calculated here are matching with the x in the PPT. So, the L 1 1 value for the for, for the norm 1 uh, alternative 1 is 0.2943. So, this is 0.2943, second is 0 0.6417 which is 6418 which is fine 0 0.681, 0 0.681. So, I am calling these values remember sorry I should highlight it. This is the first, this is for the second this is for the third, this is for the fourth, this is for the fifth. So, all these values are marked definitely. So, let us go again 0.29432 which is yellow color which means matching L11. First L is the norm, second L is the alternative. Second one is orange color 0.6418 which is matching 0.64177 for the L1 second alternative. L1 third alternative is 0 0.68067, which is the green color is matching. The L1 fourth norm, uh, fourth alternative is 0 0.7194, which is matching here. And the last one for the L1 norm fourth, uh, fifth alternative is 0 0.6822, which is matching here. Now, once done, I have found out all the L1 norm values. Now, I go to the what is basically for the L infinity norm that means I have to find out the maximum. So, I find out I copy it accordingly and then I basically change it. I will tell you what I am doing. Let me copy it and then make it. So, these values only L M so these are the values which are fixed. So I go here. Let me change change it accordingly. I think I can shift it here. This goes no, I, I have to do it singly. So, this becomes K, then becomes L, then becomes M and the last one becomes n. So, this is matching. So, I go to it becomes k becomes l. Just check the how the cells are moving that will clear everything. This, this becomes m and this becomes n. So, the last but one uh, alternative which is the fourth one, this becomes 
k this becomes l this becomes m this becomes n similarly the last row for calculating l infinity for the each and every alternative 1 to 5 this becomes k this becomes l now i should change k, l m should be there m okay yes this would be done here k l so k l then i go to m similarly the nth one so these are done so let me check the values 0.1 i am only check okay let me make the color so it will be easy for you to so it will be first will be orange then say for example green then say for example blue example is uh, red one will come later orange green blue let me make this so these are the colors which i made let me check these values are uh, if I calculate here 0 0.294321646868 71 and infinity, infinity values are given so this let me double check I find out the maxima so I have to find out the maxima so I put max and for the last cell also I put a I put a maxima I have to basically find out the maxima of all the values so it will be for the plus it becomes comma it becomes a comma it becomes a comma let me put a comma in place of my put this plus sign that will solve all the problem so i should take a max also max done comma i'm going slowly so please bear with me and the last one is comma here also I put a max this is for the l infinity norm so these are comma comma so closing bracket for the maximum and similarly let me put a maxima here then remove the plus because we will compare them so the values are in i infinity for the ith um, alternative 1 2 3 4 are given as 0 0.155 then all values are 0 0.2 let us check whether they are there so if you see So the first one is 0 0.1553 and the rest are all 0 0.25 as it is the green color, the light blue color, the red color and the dark blue color. 
So, the values are maximum. Now, once I have that, I would try to basically find out the maximum, the minimum of this and I and, and tell you why. So, I will try to find out the max. So, let me write down max of L 1 comma I. I will try and write it max value. So, it will be easy. I will put it as p, I will put it as min as or p and then I find out the max. So, I will find out the max for this. This means L 1 i and I find out the min. Similarly, find out the so these are the values. So, let me first plot it. So, whether the min and max are coming out to be same, let me 0.7194, which is 0.17194, which is the green one. Then I have the mean is 0 0.2943, 0 0.2943. Similarly, for L infinity max, L infinity min, the values are 0 0.25, 0 0.1533, which is fine. So, now let us plot these. If I have the L infinity, this is for A1. A 2, A 3, A 4, A 5. This is the maximum distances which I can have. Now, if you find out for all the combination of the alternatives, you will find out for A 1, the difference between the max and the minimum of the least while it is maximum for A 4. So, when you are trying to compare the combination of all the alternatives for each um, combination of the criteria based on the alternatives, the ranking changes. And when I, so this is one graph and when I basically plot the max and min one. So, it will be basically maximum is also decreasing, but uh, decreasing for these values of all the combinations such a way that for the mean one, uh, max mean for the levels of 2. So, uh, the blue um, blue and, and the orange one are basically for the L 1, L 1, L P. So, what you are checking is that if you check along where the the pointer is being hovered. This is the maximum distance we can have for the L 1 norm and this is for the L infinity norm. Be depending on, on the zone, you can choose that how good the bad the criteria decisions are. And then you can basically rank it accordingly to find out how the ranking is done. So, finally, I will take this combination of the weights of the L 1 norm and the L infinity norm put weights accordingly where you want to put. So, V is the weights which is basically 30 percent and 1 minus will be 70 percent based on that you do the ranking and find out the overall score. So, you will basically be doing the ranking based on the fact that you have L 1 1 L 1 1 that means for each and every things you have uh, the max and the min corresponding to the case where you find out the max min value as 0 0.71 and 0 0.94 and, and 0 0.29 and the max value being 0 0.25 and 0 0.15. So, you make a define out the differences, put the weightages of V and 1 1 as V and find out the rank. With this, I will end uh, the 40th lecture uh, for this um, which is basically complete the 8th week for the Y core and for any queries please uh, write on the forum and we will definitely be able to answer that. So, the 8th assignment would be only related to the Y core. Have a nice day and thank you very much.